In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gospel of August the 13th, 2017. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. After he had fed the people, Jesus met the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water towards Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught Peter, and said to him, O Jew of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I am just going to circumscribe myself today in this beautiful Gospel. If you want a greater explanation of the of more of the, of the uh, liturgy, you can, if you can hear me in Spanish, the Spanish person is, oh, takes more into account, but I would like just today to make it more deep into this. The central part of the Gospel is faith. The scene is provided by the multiplication of the bread. The day before, the Lord had multiplied five loaves of bread and two fishes to feed five thousand men plus the women and children that accompanied them. And He made the disciples uh, get on the boat and cross to the other side. It is one of the things that I would like to ponder first, is how the Lord, after <clears throat> doing this beautiful love, act of love, giving them the food, helping the disciples to feed them, commanding them, He immediately goes into prayer. We see the Lord Jesus praying before electing His Apostles praying and praying and praying all the time, giving thanks. And I wonder personally, whenever I have had this sense that God has answered my prayers, sometimes I thank Him, but never have I spent more than 10 minutes saying thank you. And I have this, and we have this great example of the Son of God, Himself, God Himself, spending almost the whole night thanking and talking to His Father. Perhaps we should also learn from that. Now, He chooses to go to His disciples, and it was necessary. It was not a whim of the Lord, just, just walk on the sea. It was necessary for Him to accompany them. But we can just imagine this scene. It is very dark. There is that uh, light, the pale light of the moon. And between the toiling of all the apostles, rowing and doing their work towards the shore that the Lord had commanded them, suddenly they see the figure in the dark of something that is walking towards them. They cried out, it's a, it, it's a phantom, it's a ghost. And they started crying out in fear. 
But the Lord answered to them. He calmed them down. And the words are lost, unfortunately, in the translation. He answers with the same words that Moses had heard when he asked God in the scene of the burning bush, If I go to the sons of Israel and tell them, The God of your fathers has sent me, and they ask, What is his name? What will I tell them? What is your name? And then the Lord answered, If we were to believe, and we should, there should be no reason not to believe this, to believe in the Hebrew version of the Old Testament, he answered Yahweh. But it is not the Hebrew, but the Greek version of the Old Testament, that is the Septuagint, which is the canonical version of the Old Testament for us, the Universal Catholic and Orthodox Church, the only one church, because it is said in the Holy Ecumenical Council. It is the Septuagint. Neither is the Vulgata in Latin, because in the Vulgata is already lost. Ego imi, ho on, it is said. But here the Lord only answers ego imi. And perhaps the only one that grasped the deep of that, or rather the depth of that, was Simon, who immediately said, Lord, if you are God, then command me to walk on the sea towards you, to walk on the water. He knew that it was almost impossible, but he was basically faithfully believing really that Jesus was God. Perhaps it was being defined slowly by slowly how his heart was reacting to the miracles shown in the second person of the Holy Trinity, that is, the Incarnated Son. The answer of the Lord Jesus is so beautiful. He doesn't get upset because he is being tested, because he truly is being tested. If you are, he only answers, come. And then Simon, who has spent most of his life being a fisherman, who is who knows that water cannot sustain him to stand on, disembarks, steps on the water and starts to walk. Why? Because he believed the Lord Jesus. But then he got distracted from the Lord, he felt how strong the wind was, and he started to go down, he started to sink. And what did he do? Did he turn around and start swimming towards the boat? No. He totally put himself towards the hands of God. Lord, save me. Immediately he was rescued and then rebuked. O Jew of little faith, why did you doubt? Today, dear brothers, again it's about faith. Let me remind you that faith is not our thoughts, is not our will, is not our imagination or beliefs. Faith it's a virtue, that is a force, it's a strength that we receive from God Himself. But we have to cling to it. We have to receive it and do not, we do not have to question it. For if we have faith the size of a mustard seed, God would do miracles for each of us. Let us pray that we come to believe in that way. We can only imagine how the faith Simon Peter grew up to the point when upon seeing that paralytic after the ascension of God his death resurrection and ascension of the Jesus Christ how he said I don't have gold or silver but what I have I give it to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ stand up and he healed that paralytic the Lord be with you and the blessing of God Almighty, 
that is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend on you and stay with you forever.